Welcome to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, home of the computer gods. We're going to take a look at a video card that's very strong, can even defeat you, Thor. It is the Mars 2 video card. What is this? This is two GTX 580s on one card. It's going to blow away the standard edition 590 that we've seen. It's going to really pump you up. That said, today we're doing it in the unboxings. Let's check out and see what comes inside the Mars 2. So here we see the Mars, we see the outside. This is the Mars 2 graphics card. Now, one thing about this 580 SLI card is it's going to offer supposedly 22% better performance than the standard GTX 590. This card has way superior cooling. It uses the direct CU, the direct copper. There's even a layout here. It tells how the card all gets put together and everything. It's got 21 phase super alloy power. This means the power conditioner keeps all the electricity running into the card very smoothly. It helps keep the card running for much better and actually keeps the card running for a longer amount of time. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 580 by two, PCIe 2.0 by 16, three gigabytes of GDDR5, the engine clock is 782 megahertz. The memory clock is 4008 megahertz. The memory interface is 384 bit by two because you have two cards. Maximum digital resolution is 2560 by 1600. And the maximum VGA resolution is 2048 by 1536. That said, go ahead and open up the top up here. This card is gonna be very, very heavy. So I think this thing might just pull slide right out. Yep, that's what it's gonna do. I'm gonna try to keep this out here for you guys. Slides all out like that. Very big box. I just wanna mention this by the way. This thing is just huge and it is phenomenally heavy. Just moving it around feels like it's gonna break. So we'll set that down. Front cover comes off. Now, one thing I wanna take note of very limited card. I'm going to get this up for the cameraman. I really need a close in on this. This card right here, you can see. Let me even look because I'm going blind. This card is 575 of 999. So there's not even a thousand of these cards, too. The Mars 2 is a very limited card. I have number 575 of 999. Pretty cool. Go ahead and pop this off here. I guess we'll take a look at the accessory stuff on the side. I'll try to get as much of that out as possible and show you guys before I pull the card out of the box. See what else is in here. Nothing else is in here. Well, so far, we've got, I think we got here, going on here. Two little strips right here to keep the cards. They're nice pads to keep the cards apart. You've got your DVI to VGA adapter. You've got your Molex to 8-pin. And of course, you have your XLI cable. Now, that's all I can see. There might be something else inside the box, but I don't see anything. Ah, yep, underneath. Well, maybe not. That's just a little thing there. I'm trying to see, because usually there should be drivers. Ah, there they are, the elusive drivers. I knew this had to be in here. So here's a pack right here, guys, as well. Try to get this out of the way. This has all the ASUS drivers and everything inside of here. There'll probably be some additional software and stuff. Try to flip it and hold the card here. So you guys can see all that. It's just a bunch of software and CDs. You guys really want to see the card. I know that. So I'll get the box out of the way. Now, I'm having trouble holding this card, man. Let me set this thing on the table. In a way, I got to laugh. If I didn't think ASUS was seriously, I think they sent me something as a joke, like as a big old huge Lego. This thing is just phenomenally huge. One foot long. So... It's gonna be a lady pleaser. You know the girls like the 12 inch cards. Five and a half inches high. The width, two and a half inches. Cameraman will put all this in the back. You'll see the centimeters for this because I know you guys like that. I do everything in inches just right here because I'm in America, but we will change the centimeters for you guys. Huge. You can see two fans pumping air. Underneath it are dual heat sinks then underneath those are all the copper pipes and the copper that connects right to the dual gpus the gpu here and a gpu here all being really cooled i'm going to go ahead and flip around and see the top of the card see the mars 2 limited edition republic of gamers really nice stuff oh you know what i was wrong 
Wow. This card requires three 8-pin power connectors. Wow. So that's 450 watts right here plus an additional 75. So you're looking at 500 plus watts just to run this card. So you're definitely going to have to get a 12 or 1350 watt power supply to run it. There's also a little switch right here. Can't really see what that is. I'm trying to see it. No, the dock is getting blind. Looks like it's a little fan switch. When I go with the full review, we'll find that out. Right now, you guys know I'm just bringing the unboxing, showing you guys everything that's in it, the first look. Here's the back of it, Republic of Gamers, Mars 2. It's really nice when they have these back panels on it, because that way you can just set your card down, not have to worry about getting shocked at. I know you guys ask a lot of questions about that. I always ground myself off, but with this thing, it's really good too. So we see we have two DVIs. We have the HDMI and a normal display port. Pretty cool stuff. The card is very large. I'm just gonna set this down the table right here. Up a little more right there. So this is everything that comes in the box. This is the new Asus Mars 2 Republic of Gamer video card. It's two 580s and one card. Supposedly going to blow away the 590. When we go and do the test, we're sure. 575 of 999 cards, less than 1,000. So all in all, you guys can see, this is everything that comes, whoops. This is everything that comes in the box. Really cool stuff. Look for the full review in a couple days. And thanks for watching here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel.